Assalamu alaikum, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo Technical Developer. In the previous video, we have uh, discussed about model inheritance and we have added two fields inside uh, the raised.partner model. One is instructor, which is a Boolean field, and another one is session IDs, which is many to many. In this video, we are going to talk about view inheritance and we will add these two fields uh, on the partner form this is the partner form so wh why uh, why view inheritance is uh, so important instead of modifying existing views in place by or write or writing them Udo provides view inheritance where children extension views are applied on the top of the root views and can add or remove content from their parent so for example, as I said uh, earlier that I want to add fields on this view. So instead of modifying this original view, uh, Odoo gives us an opportunity to extend this uh, view and add uh, the view, the fields inside the inherited view. So this is uh, this makes the life easier of a developer to just create a custom module and then create the XML file and then our uh, inherit that view and just add those fields inside this inherited view so this will help us to add uh, new fields or new property inside this view so we will just do this in a, uh, uh, in a bit an extension view at uh, the view that we inherited is called extension view represent its parent using the inherit id field so a new field uh, will be added inherit id which will be the reference of the parent view and instead of a single view so inside a single view we can just add multiple xpath xpath is uh, used to place or custom fields uh, inside different location on the form or on the tree view so we will just explain it a bit later and a field is composed of n number of xpath uh, selecting and alternating the content of the parent view so we will uh, talk about it and first let me inherit uh, the view so this is the task that we have done uh, in the previous video if you haven't watched it please go and watch that video in this video we will add a new uh, xml file uh, inside the open academy uh, views uh, directory so let me create it uh, uh, raise partner dot xml so you can uh, just add any name here so um, i will add like for example i will copy the first line from here in this one and then udo inside the udo we will inherit that view so first of all i have to find the external id of this view i have uh, just recorded a video previously uh, uh, to find the views using the external id so just watch that video uh, regarding the details uh, to check uh, the, mm, to find the view if you uh, cannot find it so this is the external id let me copy it and uh, just i have uh, this view here so for example go here and this is the view that we are looking for so if you cannot find it directly so just go and watch that video so this is the view, view that so let me i will just copy this this content uh, and paste it here so this one also so then uh, close the fields uh, that are uh, needed and just uh, uh, make it a proper identification. So this is, uh, we have copied it and inside it, we need to add a new field uh, name inherit ID to inherit the parent view. Inherit ID and a reference is the uh, attribute that we will use. So from where we are going to inherit the view this is the view that we are going to inherit so copy this external id along with the module name and paste it here 
change uh, the ID of the extended view so that we can de differentiate so that we can differentiate between the extended view and the original view. Academy, open Academy. So you can add anything uh, like this just to make it the difference between the views. So we will add the name of the view and the uh, ID of the view. The model will remain the same and just remove this uh, priority. So here, uh, in order to add the field inside the view, so we will uh, just um, use the X path to uh, uh, reach that view and inherit it. So, for example, we can see here. Uh, here we can see it has been inherited and uh, they want to edit uh, a new page uh, notebook page so let me just show you where i want to edit i want to edit uh, after this one after the uh, notes so let me just open the original view to check the structure if we i scroll down and check where the notebook is this is the notebook so i want to add inside uh, a notebook a new page and inside the new page i want to add these fields so what i will do i will add i will use this x path to place my fields inside the notebook so i will uh, copy it from here and we can just do it from here and i will explain that what uh, has been done here to show you first so this is the notebook and then the page inside the notebook you will have to get the page for example a notebook a position is equal to inside a uh, page is session is equal to session uh, string is equal to session group inside the session i have uh, added the group to organize the fields and the fields name are instructor and session ids so this is just uh, what i have added and uh, uh, this is uh, is the notebook is just a unique uh, inside the view so it has been used once in, in the whole view so therefore uh, we have just uh, write down directly notebook position is equal to inside so if we if we uh, if uh, uh, the notebook is uh, multiple times so then we will use x path so i will just explain the x path how you can use it uh, in this video right so let me just uh, upgrade this module uh, first of all we have added the new xml file so we will add it uh, inside the manifest file also uh, same like uh, this one views raise partner dot xml you can also just uh, copy and paste it here like this to avoid the uh, spelling mistake so let me just restart the module restart the service and then uh, go here and upgrade the module the service has not been restarted so go here and Apps and then search for the module and then upgrade it. So after the module upgrade, we will uh, we got an error. So open academy views uh, open academy dot xml. So we have made uh, a simple mistake. So what is the mistake? We need to add a comma after every view. So let me just upgrade it again. So here go to sales and then open the customer and then click here so here we can see the sessions and inside the session we have two fields one is instructor and the other one is session attended session so this uh, this person attended these two sessions so so what are the different uh, parameters that we can use for view inheritance so uh, one is to uh, just 
write the name of the field uh, or the notebook uh, where you want to edit this is just for uh, in the case if the field is just repeated once and there is not a multiplication or duplication of the field on the view for example if the notebook has been added two times so you cannot just add this uh, this will just uh, this will just find the first location and will add the field uh, after the first one so if you want to find the exact position you will have to use the x part so how you can edit so it first you will have to add uh, x part and then the x part expression so you can just read about it here uh, which will be used to, in the case if there are multiple uh, the field has been repeated twice or more and you want to just place the field exactly on your choice place so if uh, that is not found you will give uh, it will raise an error message that this is not found for example let me just uh, repeat this in this case uh, what i will do i will add x part this is the uh, take that you will use expr and then this is the format uh, and then you will need to add the uh, name of the if you want to add the field so you will have to add a field the take whatever you want to uh, we want to add it uh, so let me just open this view we want to add it uh, under the notebook so i will add notebook here notebook so if there is anything inside that you want to uh, add like this one so I want to add it here and I want to add it uh, after the first uh, X bar, after the first page. So I will add it here and then again page and then I will add first one uh, and then we'll um, use position attribute to uh, add it before or after. So I will use after. I have just uh, edit a video on this also uh, after insight and uh, replace so you can just go, go and watch that video so let me just uh, edit uh, these things also here page like this so i will a i want to age a page inside notebook and after the first page so you have to edit it after the first page so let me just uh, upgrade the module again go here and then go to apps this one and then upgrade it so after the module upgrade we will see the change so uh, first it has been added here so let me refresh it here and we can see session has been added after the contacts and addresses so if we see here uh, the first page the uh, name is uh, contract and addresses so this way you can add the uh, use the x path to uh, position your uh, new fields edition position have uh, these multiple attributes inside replace before after so you can see it and then uh, attributes so we have used inside and also before and i have that to explain the rest of these uh, in the previous videos so go and watch it and uh, after that you can watch this video so thank you guys for watching this video uh, please uh, if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe it and uh, share it with your colleagues and also like this video thank you